Hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to another Grace Minute. Uh, today, I want to talk to you about violent faith. And I was thinking this morning, how how often do we allow uh, the devil and other people to stop us from taking uh, into possession what Jesus has paid for us to have? And then I was reminded in uh, Luke chapter 18, 35 through 42, where this it was this blind man. He was on the side of the road begging and he hears all this commotion, these multitude of people passing, and he asks what's going on, and their response was, Jesus of Nazareth is coming. So he immediately goes from begging from people to crying out to Jesus to have mercy on him, even to the point where those that were before him warned him <laughs> to be quiet. How many times is it we, when we begin to confess what we believe, and those that don't believe like we believe, they try to discourage us? And the enemy will try to discourage you as though it does not belong to you. But this guy cried out all the more as though what Jesus was carrying belonged to him. And what's encouraging is that Jesus responds to this guy. Out of the multitude that was around him, Jesus responds to this guy's belief. He didn't respond to the crying out. There were many people crying out. But Jesus responded to this guy's belief and asked, what do you want me to do? And he said, Lord, I want to receive my sight. And Jesus says, receive your sight. Your faith has made you well. And it says immediately this guy received his sight and followed Jesus. I want you to get this because when you when you have violent faith, that means I'm going to believe in spite of what people may say. Those that don't understand, those that don't believe like I believe, I'm going to believe in what Jesus has already done for me, as though I'm a child of God and it belongs to me. Praise God. And I want you to begin to really operate in this belief, operate in what I'm calling violent faith, believe in spite of, take hold of what Jesus has paid for you. Praise God. I, believe, I thank God for you. Uh, I pray that this has blessed you. Thank you guys for joining me for another Grace Minute. Take care.